Welcome to this segment where we honor the diversity of, our, of the people in our community, people like us. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome back Evan Lowe, council member in the city of Campbell, California. Evan, welcome so much for being with us again this evening and thank you for joining us here. Thanks for having me. Video. Now there are, have been some very exciting things happening uh, politically wise and politically in um, your district in particular. Tell us what and tell our viewers what is redistricting and what it's all about, what does it mean to the voters? Sure, well every 10 years there is the U U.S. Census that counts different populations. Uh, people move, people shift and yeah. go to different places and so every 10 years the U.S. Census occurs. After the census, because people have moved and shifted, each district that has a representative needs to appropriately account for the respective oh. representatives that uh, serve those populations. And sure. so that's why they redraw the lines, so to speak, and that's why it's called redistricting. And okay. this redistricting happens from an independent commission. Okay, so many uh, so many representatives from so much of the population, is that right, correct? Right, right. Okay. There's a ratio of one representative per uh, 450,000, for example, approximately, okay. in the state okay. assembly. For but how does it affect them on a personal level? Does it mean that there would, there would be more funding for their areas, for instance? Well, it means that they potentially could have a different representative, a different elected official. Mm -hmm. So if you live in one city, uh, today it could be one person, but because yes. after redistricting, uh, you could have another person. And so that's how it majorly impacts the voters and okay. the individuals themselves, and then they'll have to get to know their different representative. Okay, well now this brings us to the question for the redistricting for you personally, in your particular district of District 24, is that correct? That's what yes. it currently is. Okay, so um, this has changed. So do, please tell our viewers a little bit about that. Well, because of the redistricting, there has been a shift in uh, different populations and different legislative members in different areas and boundaries. And after this redistricting, that as of today, uh, you have two legislative members in one district. So that basically would mean that the two legislative members would have to run against each other and only one could represent that particular district. Uh -huh. And so for individuals who have... Uh, stated that they were going to run for a particular district, that all changes and uh, there's a domino effect as it relates to what those bigger fish, so to speak, yes. do uh, in their political careers to make vacancies and or uh, create positions for other people. Okay, so this also brings the question, shall you be running in this district? Or, well, as you said, there are, there are a lot of shifting going around, so I think a lot of things kind of put you in a little bit of a political limbo, does it not? It does, and so trying to look at the pipeline, so to speak, yes. as it relates to what uh, positions are available, that's will, uh, that's will have a consideration as to what okay. uh, candidates like myself do okay. in the future. Well, we wish you all the best with that. And we know as the, oh my goodness, the youngest uh, Asian American uh, who was a mayor in the whole of the United States, um, the first openly gay Asian American serving politically, this is quite a... Uh, uh, kudos for you, and now you're going to be jumping in perhaps even to your hat into a ring, uh, to a larger ring. So uh, we're looking forward to see what's going on with your political career. T we were talking earlier about some of the things, the political changes that are happening in the scene now. Um, can you reiterate some of those things that might, might be happening uh, just in your district? Sure. Well, there's obviously jobs is a very important issue yes. uh, for a lot of people, particularly this is Silicon Valley in the heart right. of Silicon Valley. And so for a lot of people, how are we going to serve underserved populations, mm -hmm. whether it be women, people of color, the LGBT community? So we all know certain funding levels for the LGBT community and health services has gone either away altogether mm -hmm. or declined. And so how are we going to be able to serve those populations uh, as it relates to governmental services? All right, and you're going to be on the forefront um, fighting for our causes, I'm sure. Definitely. <laughs> okay, we're going to look forward to that. Personally, you said that you've been uh, pretty busy lately. Have you been doing anything fun this summer? <laughs> well, the campaign, the trail has yes. taken quite a, quite a bit of work, and so because there's so many different issues in the entire state of California, yeah. it takes a tremendous amount of time to be able to understand all of the things that have an impact on everyday people. You're keeping up with all of those and being a really busy guy. We thank you so much for joining us. And if viewers want to know about more about your campaign, uh, tell them what uh, website can they go to. Sure, you can just simply visit evanlow.com. All right, Evan, thanks again for joining us. Thank you.